Hi everyone, this is part two of lecture number four in a series of lectures on the Moodle lesson tool. If you're doing this through the lesson on the UTP Moodle, then you are here. In this video, I'm going to show how to construct this chunk of the lesson. So the first thing we need to look at is what's meant by a cluster of questions. This is a group of related questions where when they arrive at it, the student is given a randomly selected question. If they get the question right, then they move on to the next part of the lesson. But if they give an incorrect answer, they're given a new randomly selected question out of the cluster. And this repeats until they get one right, or until we run out of questions. So I'm going to start by getting you oriented. Here is the lesson. And last time, I built this part of the lesson, which corresponds to these three chunks right here. So I'm now going to build out this part, and so I'm going to insert it after. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is build these two content pages. And again, because they're rather similar to the previous one, what I'm actually going to do is just make two copies of the previous one, put them in the right places, and then edit them. There, I've done that, although I'll note, first of all, I've unlinked the places where the videos will eventually be because those videos aren't built yet, and also these links of where these go to are not correct. So I'll have to fix that all up later. Now I need to set up this cluster. Because it is going to go in between these two content, content pages, that's where I'm going to build it. Again, I could actually build it anywhere and just deal with the links to make sure students see it in the right order, but that tends to be confusing if you come back to edit things later. So I'm going to put it here where it lives. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to say add a cluster. And now you see this cluster here, but I need another piece. I need to end and add an end of cluster as well. So there, now there's a cluster and an end of cluster, and I'm going to build the questions in between them. Before that, though, I'm just going to do a slight edit here, because you can end up with a whole lot of clusters and ends of clusters, and when you're doing your linking, you can easily mix them up. So I'm gonna just change the names of these, and I'm going to arbitrarily say, since these are following lecture four, part two, I'm going to give them names that sort of indicate that. And that's just going to help me stay organized. So the next step is to populate this cluster with questions. Now I'm not going to make real questions, much like the not a real question back here, which was just to show you how all these links worked. I'm going to make some fake questions where it'll be clear to you which answer will lead where. So I'm going to come in here at this cluster and I'm going to add a question and I'll make it multiple choice. I'm giving it a name so that when you encounter it, do it during the lesson, you'll know exactly where it is, right there. Okay, so I have made the question. When you encounter it, you'll know exactly what question you're in and you will know which answer will go where. I just need to set up the links. So for this correct answer, what I want it to do is go to the end of this cluster. And then for each of these, the setting we want is unseen question within a cluster. That's what will make it go to a different randomly selected question in this cluster. So here I am back out in the main page, and I have just made two more copies of that question, 
and I have just given them each different names and put those names into the text so that when you encounter them, when you're doing the lesson, you'll see where you are and you'll be able to examine the behavior. So the one remaining thing is that right now, lecture four, part three isn't built yet. And so I don't really want the end of the cluster going there. So I'm going to, for now, send it back to the main menu. But of course, later on, I'm going to want this end of cluster four, two to link to this other lecture. So just a comment, at the moment there's no way for a student to get to this new part of the lesson because the previous part here links back to the main menu and there are no links currently leading here. That's because I haven't finished this lecture and so I don't want to open it up. But in a while after I've finished that I'm going to have to edit this link so that instead it'll come down here. One piece of linking I should do though is that this part two lecture should go to this cluster. So I will fix that link. There we go. To finish up, I'm just going to show you a different way to do essentially the same thing. So I've actually made a copy of the lesson. And let me just show you over here in this tab, I have the original lesson and here is the cluster that I just built. But now over in this new one, I'm going to do it slightly differently. So I'm going to go in here and edit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it for a moment because I'm going to remove this cluster. And I'm going to remove this end of cluster. And note that all these links are sort of broken now. Um, and instead, I'm going to put in here an end of branch. And as before, I'm going to give it a slight edit just so that it fits into my organizational scheme. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to have all of these questions go to that end of branch if the student gets the answer correct. And what I've done here is I've almost finished building a branch instead. So a branch always starts with a content page and ends with an end of branch and has questions in between. And other than that, it works just like a cluster, right? So the, con the contrast is that in a cluster, it starts with a cluster, ends with an end of cluster, and there are questions in between. Whereas a branch always starts with a content page. I prefer to use clusters because they have these nice markers at beginning and end that makes the organization easier but I will show you in the next lecture how to put a branch inside a cluster. So let me just finish this up. I need to fix up the links. The correct answers from these questions will need to go to the end of branch. And the incorrect quest, uh, answers will need to go to an unseen question within a content page. That's the sort of confusing way they've set this up. Uh, when you're in a branch. I don't know why they don't just say in the branch or something. And then again, this end of branch, uh, well, first of all, I want this lecture to also link to unseen question within a content page that is going to to send it to a random question in this branch and the end of branch will eventually go to lecture four part three uh, and so i'll actually do that for now but <laughs> i'm going to delete this whole lesson anyway 
Okay, and so aside from the fact that still this is not linked up to here because this video isn't made yet, this is now a working branch.